I know the Blessed Sacrament is very powerful. I've spent many hours just uh, praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament and just being in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. And I always felt better. But I've had a lot of experiences in the Blessed Sacrament. And one of them, it's one time when I was the facilitator of a small Christian group in my home. And it snowed really bad outside. And it was about maybe three feet high uh, in, my, in my driveway of snow. And uh, my driveway was about 600 feet long and there was no way I could uh, shovel it. And uh, I, I just couldn't afford to, to get somebody to do it. So um, I went to the Blessed Sacrament and sat there for about an hour and I was saying to the Lord, I'm trying so hard to believe you for every area of my life. I'm trying to believe and not doubt that somehow that driveway will be cleared before the people come to the meeting tonight because there's no way that they can walk through all that snow to the house. And there's no way they can park their cars. And Lord, you know that I don't have the money to have to somebody to physically remove it for me. I can't pay for a company to come and do it. And then after I went to the Blessed Sacrament, I, I went to confession right afterwards, and I was uh, confessing doubt. I said, I don't, I want to believe. I don't want to doubt. I just want to believe. And uh, if there's any doubt in my heart, I ask the Lord to remove it. And I asked him to forgive me for doubting. Then I went home. I was gone for about an hour and a half, I guess, from the time I left. And my driveway was completely shoveled, completely clear, all 600 feet of it. I was so happy. I didn't know who did it, but I was ready in time for the people to come to the meeting, and it was a good meeting. And then the next day, I asked my next door neighbor, did she see if anyone or who had shoveled my driveway? Because I thought maybe a friend had come and done it or something. And she said, no, I actually, I did see this white Jeep drive up. And, and this man who was very tall and young, he had white hair and white clothing and he shoves the driveway with the little shovel, like a little shovel, like a tiny little shovel. And he was, he got out, went back in his Jeep and drove away and he was only there for about 15 minutes. I knew that was impossible. I knew God had done it, that he sent an angel to, um, to shovel that thing so that the people could come and have the meeting. Because it wasn't for me, like I knew that uh, the people needed to be, get, be able to get together for the meeting. But it did tremendous to me for, for my faith to grow, that God can do the impossible, that nothing is impossible for him, not even to shovel my driveway. I give God all the glory and praise for all the times that I've sat in front of the Blessed Sacrament and received all the graces that I need it. And we just pray that during this time of Eucharistic adoration with praise and worship, that you also will receive many graces from the Father through the Son in this, the power of the Holy Spirit through this most blessed sacrament. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus, we adore you, we welcome your presence, we invite you to send the Holy Spirit, Lord, open up our hearts to your presence.
here in this moment with you here in this sacrament of your love we open our hearts to want to know the power of God that you are. Holy Spirit, come, fall afresh on us. We just want to experience the love. Breakthrough is happening here. Oh, let it come, come down, come with fire, drive our fear. Everything that's not of you has to go away. All afresh on this world Come send us out as missionaries As laborers with you Following your lead And your plans will come Signs and wonders be released right in our midst. Holy Spirit, come, come down on us. Holy Spirit, your fire fall and your glory come down 
Let your fire fall and your glory come down. Let it be like it was in the early days. Fire falling from the sky. They were all gathered in one place just like we are today. We want to feel the fire of your love. We want to know how powerful you really are. We want to know who we are in Christ. Show us what's going on. Show us our hearts and how much we need to give over to you. Oh, Lord, let the fire come consume me. I want to know you. I look into your countenance, the fire in your eyes, you're changing me now, you're changing me, you are my delight, you delight in me, I am yours and you are mine, come into my heart, come into my heart, just sing that again, come into my heart now. want to be yours. Come into my heart now, Lord. Come into my heart now, Lord. I want to know you. Just knowing you, Lord, and the power flowing from your resurrection now. Know you more and more. I want to know you more. Without a touch, without the presence of the Lord. Oh, I would starve. I would anything. I wouldn't have any peace without you. I adore you. I reach out to you like the woman with the hemorrhage. She just knew if she could touch your garment that she would be healed, oh Lord. We reach out to touch you now. We reach out to touch you now. We have faith to believe that in this sacrament you are real. Your real presence, body, blood, soul, and divinity. We can be whole just by touching you. Just reaching out and touching you. I reach out by faith. All I need is a mustard seed. I reach out to touch the heart of the Master, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, touch my heart. Fill me with your oil, your fresh oil, the anointing oil right now, I pray. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Give me more oil, plenty of oil, a 
abundance of all. Give me more, give me more of your oil. I need your fresh oil, abundance of oil. I need more of you, more of you. It's all about you. I need more of you. Lord. Give me more of your oil. The oil of gladness. Give me more fire. I need your fresh fire. Abundance of fire. Come consume me, Lord. Give me more fire. I need your fresh fire. Abundance of fire. I need more of you. More of you, Lord. Jesus. Came to cast fire on the earth. How I need more of you, Lord. Give me more of your fire. And sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great. the door so you can come in. It's not works, it's faith and works. By faith we come to you. Our work is to believe. You said the work of God is to believe in the one that he has sent. We believe right now and we worship you. So I invite everyone listening right now, just open up your heart to Jesus. If you've never had a direct experience of his love, that's what I want you to ask for. Just say, Lord Jesus, let me feel your love. You may feel his warmth, his warm presence coming over you. You may feel it on your hands, on your head, in your heart right now. Let your liquid loving presence come. Oh, Father, let your loving presence come through your Son, Jesus. Just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, come. I surrender all to you. And if you've never surrendered your life fully to the Lord, Jesus, we ask for the grace. Renew us right now as we pray. Just join with me if you've never surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. Only he can give you peace. It's peace the world can't give. Just say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. 
I desire that you be the Lord of my life so that I could be a child of the light, to know you as my personal Savior, for I know and believe that you died on the cross for my sins. You rose again on the third day, and you are coming again in glory. I believe in your forgiveness, and I desire that you help me to refrain from any temptations that would keep me separated from your everlasting love. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let your water fall flow over me. Let me feel the warmth, the fresh presence of you. Let me feel your love coursing into my veins. I want to know you more. Please let me see your face. It's so personal. Not even the angels can have you on the inside of them. They can worship you, but they can't know you like we can know you. You are the food of angels, bread from heaven. You sustain the Israelites in the desert with manna, with bread from heaven, with the quail in the desert, Lord, but you are more to us. So many great saints lived off the Eucharist. Lord, because you are bread and you are the body of Christ. You are the real presence. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. The real presence of the King of glory. And whether we can come physically before you in your throne, in your tabernacle, we join with St. Francis and say that may your presence be blessed in all the tabernacles of the world. Even if we can't come physically before you right now because of the circumstances of the world, spiritually we come into your presence right now. We can be in your presence at every moment, Lord. Here in this moment, we choose by faith to adore your name. Just call out his name, say, Jesus, say, Jesus, again, Jesus, Jesus, just cry out his name now. are breaking now. Jesus, you're healing your people. You always heal us when we come to you. Just praise him in your own words if you have the gift of tongues. Uh, Holy Spirit. Just praise him however you feel. Just go in. church again. Let us blaze like the fiery torch that we were meant to be. Let your light shine before men. Only you inside the fire within. Come and set me ablaze so that others may rejoice in your light flowing from me, from my life. Come, Lord, let me shine with your light of your love, the light of your love. The light of Jesus Christ shining all around me. Let all the darkness flee from your light around me. You 
You saved my life so many times I am yours and you are mine You saved my life so many times Who would I thank if you were not there for me? When I look within, you are there The kingdom of God living in me, justice and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Let us feel that justice and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Lord, we have experienced so many injustices in our life. We have done many to you and your people. We are just like the people that we have heard. We are poor before you. So we open up our hearts to you. you can be rich in us you can make us wealthy in your love you can bless us abundantly more than we could ever ask for or imagine here we are we come before you hearts wide open to you our hearts are open to you just let him come in right Let him rest upon you right now. Holy anointing of the living God. Jesus, come in. You're changing. seed you are all that I need you are all I need all that I need you are all I need you're more than enough No thing, no person can compare to you. All our idols that we've worshipped, that we've exalted above you, we lay them down right now before you. Let them be broken in Jesus' name. We repent, Lord, of our witchcraft, of our control, of our idolatry, of the high places that we've built in honor of other things. We come before you under the blood that was shed for us. We come before you swearing fealty to the King. We want to be your loyal subjects. We want to be obedient to you. Wherever you would lead us, Lord, whatever you would have us do, we are so poor without you. We are nothing. We are nothing without you, so poor without you. With you I have everything, no matter what I go through. You're always by my side to console me, Lord. I don't have to get involved in things that make me feel guilty anymore. I don't have to search behind every rock to find peace that won't be there anyway. How many times do I have to do it to learn that only you can give me a love that's everlasting, eternal, only Bring salvation. 
sing your own song to him. Korabambe de ambara de ambe ambara de. Korabambe de ambara de ambara de. us be filled with the Holy Spirit. Right now, let us be overflowing, as David said. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overfloweth. Let it happen. Let it happen right now. We are crying out. We are opening ourselves to be filled. Feel the love of the Lord. Let us be the chosen few that come to truly know you. Some of us, Lord, are like St. Paul. We need to be struck down. We need to hear the voice. Why are you persecuting me? To have a conviction of all that we've done wrong to you, hurting you, hurting when we hurt your people, 
release that conviction of sin, of righteousness. Others need to know that they haven't done anything wrong, that they're breeding themselves up for no purpose. Most of us, Lord, we just need to know your love. It's experiential, it has to be. Experiential Christianity. Let us feel you. Let us know you. Let us encounter you right here. Here in this moment with you. Here in this sacrament, here in this moment with you, Lord, let me feel your oil pouring out. Your healing love is pouring out right now. Let it come down. Oh, thank you. Healing us of cancer, healing us in your signs and wonders brain tumors and mind games, mental problems, healing us, giving us the mind of Christ, heart problems, stomach problems, be healed right now, problems with walking, problems with people's feet and circulation, neuropathy, diabetic problems be healed right now. Let your love course through our veins, a drop of your precious blood to bring healing to every part. Restoring damaged organs, people that have been in accidents, people that have been in war or PTSD, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus is healing you. Nothing is impossible with you, Lord. Signs and wonders and miracles. Signs and wonders and miracles. Signs and wonders and miracles in your name, Jesus. Release your signs and wonders and miracles. Signs and wonders and miracles. Signs and wonders and miracles for those who believe. Believe. everything I need cause nothing is impossible for you no thing is impossible for you Lord release your healing love we pray Lord release Release your healing love in your precious name, Jesus. Send us out to the nations as missionaries of your love. Send us out to the nations with the glory of the King. do anything. Come on, say, Jesus, you will do everything I need. Jesus, you will do everything I need. Say it again. Jesus, you will do everything I need. Why? Because now
sing it again. Nothing is impossible for you. One more time. Nothing is impossible for you. Just like in the early church, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, Lord. So signs and wonders should be normal. When we follow you, we will see wonderful things. You'll make all things wonderful for me. You came that we may have life abundantly. We let everything go. Oh, we seek first the kingdom of God. Let everything go. Oh, we seek first the kingdom. Holy Spirit, come. Fill me with your love. Holy Spirit, come. Impart to us the gifts and graces that we need. We are not closed to anything that you want to do for us, that you want to give to us. Heaven living on the inside of us. Christ in us. More than the angels have, we can have you inside of us. Intimacy with God that no one else could ever have. Let heaven start today. Let it start now. Here in this place. Here in this space. My heart is yours. Jesus.
Come on.